all in their feelings. Hey, damn, uh, I'm in my zone, they cannot leave me alone. Leave me alone, blow my phone, blow my phone. Hey, damn, niggas are all in their feelings, all in their feelings. Hey, they take it out from What up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in for yet another video. <laughs> anyway, today I did this butterfly cutesy look. Um, it was really showing me flames, but um. I eventually got it. I can't draw, so that's my issue. And this eye is always watery, so I'm I'm always going through the most and I do my makeup. But if you want to see how I achieved this look, please go check out my Instagram. I posted this on IGTV. You'll see it on my page. Please follow me if you're not following me and let's interact. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a little story time on the first time that I went to a real party. And how I got stranded and how I was crying on this it was just a disaster okay so yeah grab your drinks grab your popcorn grab your food because it's about to get interesting okay so this party was called I'm just gonna call the party what it was because it all right this party was called forever young okay and I remember I was in grade 10 first time me and my homegirls were going out to a real big party you know because previously before it was just like oh we're going to spend man's house we're gonna go drink there and have chicken wings or whatever it wasn't ever like we're going to a party we're about to go oh, no 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 on it's fine you know so this time it was our first time going out so those pre-sold tickets so the pre-sold tickets i'll never forget were 70 rand and to buy a ticket you had to go to gandhi square if you're from Johannesburg and you went to high school in Johannesburg, you know how much of a vibe Gandhi Square was back in the day. I don't know now, but back, back in the day, Gandhi Square was the place to be. Gandhi Square McDonald's was... Anyway. <laughs> so, um, what had happened was, um, we went, so we gathered our little coins. It's 70 and it was a lot back then. We gathered our little coins, um... And we got the money to go buy the tickets. So before we went to buy the tickets, one of my friends met up with her dad. We had to lie to him and give him stories for, for him to give her the money. Eventually gave her the money, so we all had the money. Went to McDonald's, met up with this guy. I can't remember his name, but he was on, you know, the WhatsApp groups. He was like the promo guy. Cool. Okay, sells our summer ticket. We all buy our tickets. We have our pre-sold tickets. We're ready. And that's like two weeks before the party or two weeks and a half before the party. So definitely see ready. It's about to be a vibe. Okay. All right. <laughs> so what happens is there's like a lot of us were going to this party because it was quite, it was marketed very well. It was quite a big party. The party was in four ways. Uh, I'd never been to four ways on my own. Like I, I didn't really go out when I was young. I was, I was naughty, but I was like naughty here. Album. Cool. Hey, 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 guys. It's about to get interesting. So, a couple of our male friends were going and they were like, you know what, guys, we're going to organize transport. You don't have to worry about that. They got a quantum. I said, okay, all right. So, no, we were then. It, was, it wasn't even a quantum. It was a karakara. Yes. They got a karakara. <laughs> you know what a karakara is? If you don't know, I mean, I, I, I'll insert a picture somewhere. So, anyway, got a karakara. And the friend or whoever I was going to take us to where we're going. So I was like, okay, boys got us. We're going with the boys. We'll come back with the boys. Obvious. I mean, I'd never been to a party. I never thought. <sighs> anyway. All right. So the day comes. Oh, meet up with the boys. I'm going to call the two main boys. I'm going to call them Ed and Eddie. Okay. Speak to Ed and Eddie. Ed and Eddie, like, you know what? Listen, guys, we got you. It's sizzle back shop. I'm still friends with Ed and Eddie, but it's. Yeah, anyway, so <laughs> we get into the Karakara with Ed and Eddie from Yovo for its props. We're all happy, we're dressed up, we, we're wearing basically nothing because I mean, it's our first party. I remember I was wearing leggings and like a it was like a very, very light top, and I can't remember what shoes I was wearing, but I mean, I was ready, I had braids. Hey, it was about to be a party. <laughs> we get to four ways. So I, I don't know where in the world four ways we were, but I just know it was big and it was almost like farm-like in four ways. I know it was about 10 minutes away from Monte Casino, 15 minutes away. Okay, cool. So we get to this party, loads of people are there. Like, loads of people are there. Like, it was packed. So, 
we're driving towards the door the guy is the the guy that's driving us there's like listen guys i've got other things i need to do today so can i just drop you off you guys enjoy your party i'll come pick you up later around one two whatever chef drops us off so now as as, as you're walking you're talking to people yeah everyone's high spirits whatever whatever we walk towards the gate so this person's gate is just electric fence all around so it's not like a gate but it's just like yeah electric fence i don't know how else to put it so you can't you can't even push a gate or whatever it's just electric the only part that's a gate is like the entrance so this person and their family comes out with guns and they're like i'm so sorry this party is not happening here i didn't know it was going to be this kind of party i won't lie the person was racist because they were like i'm not having black people in my house or whatever the case might have been so that was that the venue was paid for or i don't even know what had happened but now let's go back to the fact that we had already bought our ticket we came here with the boys we were sure with you we didn't need much more money from any more things because we also had liquor everything was organized most to the t hey charlie let me tell you this person says okay no one's coming in so now a lot of people were in the same situation as us as their transport drivers had dropped them off and now we were all just there so everyone is like, okay, guys, the best thing we can do is walk to Monte Casino. It was far. I don't even remember. Where we were. I just remember we were walking and walking and it was dirt road and we we're walking. Okay, sharp. We're walking. Now the boys who came with Asbaz, but where are they? We can't find anyone. We don't know what the hell is going on. The boys disappear. So now it's just us, the girls. I remember how many girls were we? Uh, about five or four. Five, I think. Four, five. Hmm, okay so we're walking now we're walking we're like you know what guys let's just walk to monte casino we will figure out whatever there we walk we walk we walk to monte casino as we're walking the this car stops and it's pumping music hey it's happening in this car and then they open the door they're like so we're all like <laughs> they're like where are you guys going we're like no we're going to monte and they're like, oh, okay, whatever. We're going to Northgate. There's another party in Northgate. Apparently, the party has moved to Northgate. So we're like, oh, okay. Since we came to the party valley and we have our tickets, I read Northgate because I'm sure the boys are there. Yeti lava. Oops, Northgate to these boys. We don't know. Ah, it's fun. They're drinking. Music is blasting. Ziawa. Get to Northgate. Northgate's not that far from four ways. Get to Northgate, nothing is happening. I just recall there was a guy with a snake. He was very cute. I didn't understand why he was there with a the snake or what the hell was happening. But he spoke, they spoke to him for a bit. That didn't work out. And they were like, okay, it's fine. There's no party happening. So they're like, we're going home. We're like, where do you guys live? They're like, Kempton Park. But we heard Kensington. Kensington is very close to your home. Kempton Park is at the airport. It's miles away. <laughs> so... <laughs> We assumed that they were going close to us so they could pass by us and drop us off at home. So I was like, okay, guys, on your way, please just pass by us and drop us off. They're like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, drinking, having fun, on the way, whatever. Things are going great. This taxi driver person was just like, I, in his head, he's like, I, mean, I wasn't paid to be taking detours. I was just paid to do this, that, and drop these people back at home. They're eating into my time. I'm not impressed with anything so he didn't buy that one to stop he went straight to Kempton Park Hi. before I forget something he doesn't even go straight to Kempton Park he goes straight to Tembisa <laughs> hey mind you half of us have never been to a before we don't know what happens there how nothing okay it was bleak so we get to uh, Tembisa and they said they need to pick up other people on their way back home. So it's still not registering in our heads that no man, guys, this is not Kensington. Also, we're not stupid little girls, didn't know where we were going, didn't know much about much. <laughs> get to Tembisa. And then they're like, okay, let's go to this other club thing, Yana. We're going to pick up these other people, but we're going to meet them there, so let's go. So I remember I was with this guy. His name was i'm just going to call him the beast <laughs> for those who know you know anyway so i was with the beast and he was like you know what i can see you're nervous just 
stand with me. I wasn't with him romantically or anything like that. I was just walking next to him because it's like, I can tell you're nervous, you're very uncomfortable. Walk next to me, I know the ins and outs of this stuff. I'll keep you safe. So I was like, okay, no problem. So I walk with him, I walk with him, we get to the spot. I don't know where my home girls are. I don't know what the fuck's happening. We're all just, it's just a lot was happening. Cool. Walk with him. I see some of my friends there. Okay, cool. Everyone's standing with someone. Everyone's safe. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. And then they start smoking weed. Now, me, now, I've never been a weed girl. Even if I tell you the first time I smoked weed, it, no. Those things, as hambilandam, I shame. So, prashamus. Everyone's smoking weed. Your girl smokes. I then the world starts to spin. <laughs> hey guys, I that day all my life. So now I don't know what the hell is going on. Everything is slow. Hey. <laughs> okay, fine. Eventually we walk back into the the car. Everyone goes back to the car. Plus these new girls we came to fetch. Yeah, these girls they are. Like, <laughs> they were making the most noise. Now we're all shook. One, these girls are screaming. Two, we don't know where we are. There's a lot happening. Napa, my other friend was sleeping. Yo, 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 it was a disaster. Okay, cool. They were like, this guy's like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this shit. This is the last thing I'm doing. I'm dropping you guys off at home. Then he drops us off all on the middle of the street by some guy's house. So I'm gonna call this guy um Dragon. <laughs> So he drops us off at Dragon's house, everybody goes into Dragon's house and we all, that's like the sleeping point or whatever. This is now at like 4 in the morning. Okay, sharp, we get to Dragon's house, Dragon is like, okay, mind you we don't know these people, we're like, why didn't you guys just pass and drop us off at home? Where are we now? We don't have money for this, we came with other people, they're the ones that are supposed to keep us safe, all that stuff. They were like, no guys, just don't worry about it, just rest, you'll be fine, whatever, whatever, whatever. Hey, as a group of guys and us girls, because those now these other girls have gone, or there was just one or two left, or whatever, they pass out drunk. So now we're tired, also, because I mean, it's been such an adventure. We didn't get to go to the party that we had hoped and dreamed for. We got taken to a hundred places, we got high along the way. It was a disaster. So cool. The guys like sleep, so I'm just like, you know what. Fuck it, I'm gonna try my best to sleep just to get some energy. My one friend who's like she was her like she was like, nah, I'm not having it. I think the only thing that I had a little bit of trust and faith was all the people in the room were all the same age. So it wasn't I wasn't like it was all the people or like they didn't look scary or whatever. They just looked sharp, you know. So I trusted that if I sleep, nothing can happen to me. Or even if I do, like I wouldn't fall deep deep into sleep, it would more be like a rest thing. So my one friend was like not having it. She was super paranoid. She was wide open whole night. Her eyes were big already. So the whole time she was like. <laughs> but anyway, so fast forward an hour and a half later. We're like, okay, guys, on a serious note, we're stuck here. We don't know how we're going to get home. Can you please just ask your taxi driver to take us back home? We'll pay him when we're home or we'll figure out a way. They're like, oh, sorry, we can't get hold of him. Wada, 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 wada. Um, so this one guy is like, now beast. Is like, okay, I have money. But if you guys want to get home, you're going to have to kiss me, all of you. <laughs> My one friend starts crying immediately because now this guy, Mubi, one, Asmaz, two, she's stranded and you're telling us we're going to have to kiss you to get home. Yo, I she starts crying. She starts crying. She starts crying. Now we shook something to those guys, and I'm like, ah, oh, guys, that doesn't make sense. How can you let this guy say that to us? Nivan Gaga, can't you And they were like, no, we spent all the money on the cab yesterday. Blah, 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 blah. We don't have money. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm also understanding because we're all young. Where's the money supposed to come from besides this one person that's telling us that we're gonna need to kiss it? So we're like, there's no way in fucking hell we're going to kiss you. That's not going to happen. We call the, so we were all sleeping at this one girl's house. Her name, is, let's call her Bluetooth. We all sleep, I looked at my speaker. So we're all sleeping at Bluetooth's house and Bluetooth's mom expected us to be home at like 12 one. But she was also a very relaxed mom, so she didn't freak out too much. 
so bluetooth's mom is like okay guys the best thing i can do is that you guys must get here in the next 15 minutes before i head out to work and then i'll pay the cab driver other than that there's nothing i can do like there's no way possible we can get here in 15 minutes it doesn't make sense can't you like send the money whatever she's like yeah i don't know what she said to her daughter that was the end of that that was one solution that ended Call other friends, mom. <laughs> I'm gonna say this way. We call Amu's mom. Amu's mom was like, "Hey, my babies. I'm so sorry. Good luck now. Pray you guys will be fine." <laughs> yeah, things were bad. Okay, now the rest of us can't call our parents because we we lied. We we're not at a party. We're at a sleepover. And, you know. <laughs> okay, shut up. <sighs> Then we go onto the street and then I was like, you know what guys, the best thing we can do is just start asking people for money because there's nothing else. Like I do, I don't know. And then the, those guys were like, okay, I'll try, I think I have 30 rand or whatever. So they gave us a little, not, there wasn't even 30 rand, it was 10 rand, something ridiculous like that. They're like, we'll give you this money and you can hold on to this and then try find a way. Now it was 15 rand each for us to get to Johannesburg CBD. From CBD, we still need money to get home. So in, in total, we needed about 200 rand to get home. And most of us didn't have phones. <laughs> there was no Uber, there was no Taxify, there was no, hey friend, pick me up, I'll pay you back month then. Zonk, zero. Okay, cool. Eventually we start asking for money on the streets, asking for money. I'm literally now hysterical because I'm like, how we're gonna get home, we're stranded, we're stuck, I'm gonna die. So I'm crying. Now everyone's laughing because I'm crying and I'm literally being hysterical. I'm going up to people's windows. I'm like, please, can you just give me 10 rand? And they're, they're closing their windows on me. I'm crying. It was a movie. So then eventually we're walking in like in the same little area. We're walking and then I see this man holding a Bible and I was like, hi, sir, if you can help us with money. He's like, oh, all I have is 15 rand. But hold on, because he was holding a Bible. I was like, I'm on my way to church, but hold on, let me go upstairs. He goes upstairs, he comes back down with about 30 rand, and he's like, this is all I can give you guys, I don't have much. We were like, you know what, guys, fuck it, we're going to take Isha Shaloza, and we're going to get to Joburg. When we get to Joburg, we're going to walk home. At least from Joburg to home, it's not that far. It's far, but it's not that far. So, home girl, never been in a Shoshaloza. <laughs> We all go to Shoshaloza, luckily tickets are 7 rand in the Shoshaloza, we all buy our tickets, we're ready to go. Now if you know in Shoshaloza guys, you know but it's tense, it's awkward, you can get robbed at any point in time. My friends are telling me don't speak English. I said, yo. <laughs> I, even when we're walking to like the station, the boys that live in the area like just, just be careful guys. Like. Um, even like as you're walking into the train you can get robbed anything can happen you just need to be super careful so i'm super freaked out because i'm like what the fuck is happening guys why yeah anyway we get into social laws like we sit there and tense as we were eventually it gets to park station from park station we walk home and then we get to this girl's house and my mom wasn't there so we didn't really get shouted at for anything took my bags i went home when i got home i was like oh hi i was just leaving it was fine <laughs> i couldn't obviously tell my mother that yay 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 and my mom wasn't even that strict so if had i told her she probably wouldn't even have shouted at me but that's one of the stories of my teenage life and how i found myself in kempton park crying on the streets begging for money and to any young people just always tell someone where you're going or just always have a plan i think that thing shaped me and taught me to always have a plan b like i depended on our friends so much to take us there and to bring us back that i didn't make a plan b for myself and it screwed us over because now we find ourselves with people we don't know and we had to beg and we've been told we need to kiss them and those things just don't make sense. Um, so, moral of the story is have a plan A, B, C, secure yourself, and don't bloody buy pre sold tickets because Ozamunya, basically. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope, yo, Jesus, I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. And if you'd like me to do another one or tell you a story of me growing up, because I have plenty. Please just mention it in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials if you can. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you on my next one.